The Elgato Stream Deck. If you don't have one by now, well, you're, you're trash. trash. Nah, I'm just kidding. But if you guys don't know by now, the Elgato Stream Deck is basically a device with a bunch of buttons which allows you to do macro controlling with it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you can customize it so that it opens up programs, opens up websites, play, pause, skip music. You can use it to select different scenes in OBS. That's why a lot of streamers do use an Elgato Stream Deck. And there is just a limitless amount of use cases for the Stream Deck. But one thing that is always overlooked is how it looks. Now, Elgato, fortunately allows us to do a lot of customizations to it but whenever i see somebody use an elgato stream deck yeah they have a lot of cool things that they can do with it but their button layout looks like trash so that's what i'm here for i'm gonna help you guys make your elgato stream deck look beautiful all right and hopefully by the time your elgato stream deck looks beautiful you're gonna leave a like and you're gonna subscribe to this video of course because you know it's me but not only that but you're gonna be using the elgato stream deck much more often so without further ado let me show you how to make your stream deck look beautiful now this video is not teaching you on how to do any type of macros or any use cases for the elgato stream deck it's solely meant for just cosmetic reasons just to make it look good and appetizing and make it look like you want to actually stream and do stuff with your stream deck now i'm going to show you a couple different ways in order to get your stream deck looking beautiful now there are free ways and there are paid ways of course we're going to go through the free ways first and probably the most simplest ways that way you can get started with making your stream deck look good so the first free option you can utilize is from elgato themselves what you do is you head over to the stream deck and you click on any type of button that you currently have running and you just go over to the down arrow and then you click on create new icon now this of course is going to send you to the elgato page which you could just utilize some of the elements that they already have and then you could just use that then you just save key and then you just upload it from the file and you could just save it onto your stream deck also a new thing they just implemented was if you do the same process where you click on whatever button you choose and then you click the down arrow again you could then click on open stream deck icon library and they give you a whole list of different types of icons that you can use of course they do look kind of basic and that's why they are free but it is the most simplest way to get started with getting your icons kind of all matching together and making them kind of uniform if you're into that now these are two great options from elgato thank you elgato for actually doing this but I just feel like they kind of lack that oomph, you know what I'm saying? Like that personality, that customizability, you know, I don't think that's a word, but we're going to go with it. So my next option is actually from Nerd or Die. Now this option is a free-ish, and by free-ish, what I'm talking about is that it is free, but they do ask you to donate to them to support the creators of that type of icon key set. But of course, if you don't have any money, then yeah, you can just download it for free. But I do recommend if you do have a couple dollars on you, I do recommend that you do support the creators of those icons. Now they do have three different options. They have the Clarity, the Nova, and the Aora. Me personally, I like the Aora the best because the entire key has some type of color to it. The other two options, although they have like a different style and they do have color, but it's not the entire key. It's just the, the picture within the key if that makes any sense. So for me personally, I like the Aura and that's currently what I use today. And of course, like I said earlier, this suggested price is $2, but you can get it for free. All you have to do is just enter a zero in the name your price area and then add to cart. Once you have it downloaded, you're gonna have a folder full of different keys. Now these are all going to work with your stream deck. And as you can see, they have way more flair than the Elgato options. And this is great if you're a YouTube streamer or a Twitch streamer, or if you use this for office use and you want it to open up different applications, you could definitely use these keys because they have everything here from applications to Internet Explorer to so on and so forth. Now, fun fact, even though I did say that I did get my keys from Aora, I kind of didn't because it's not like I just copied and pasted what they gave me. What I actually did was that I took what they offered threw it into Photoshop, and then I would just cut out the image that was within the icon 
and I created my own customized icon at the end of the day. The reason I did that was that I wanted my own customized gradient colors. Some of the options that they give you do have a gradient, but if I chose to have a different color, it's not something that I could customize. So that's why I have Photoshop, and this is something you can also do on Canva, uh, which is a free option. I know Photoshop is not free, but Canva is free. So if you don't wanna pay for Photoshop and you still wanna customize things, what you could do is just head over to Canva and you can do it on there as well. The only thing you need to do is make sure that whatever size project you have is a square, okay? So you could do like 1080 by 1080, like what I did, but as long as it's a square, you should be fine. And this is a perfect example of how I changed up the Twitch chat icon to a regular chat message because after all, I do stream on YouTube, so I don't use Twitch, so I kind of don't want that whole purple aspect to the chat icon. So what I did here was that I added over the Twitch chat icon to Photoshop, and then I just duplicated the layers so that the top layer, I would just cut out the chat symbol, and the background would be separate. Now in the chat symbol, I did actually add in three different rectangles and this is more to indicate that hey this is for chatting wise and as you can see i kind of played around with the sizing i was trying to get it right kind of didn't feel great at first but at the end i did get it correct afterwards on the background which is just the purple gradient what i ended up doing was that i changed the color to yellow and green and for the background i changed the gradient up from just that purple to a purple and yellow later i ended up changing it to purple and green because i kind of wasn't feeling the yellow it was a little bit too much and i darkened the background just a little bit so that my icon could pop out and i also added a border to the chat message icon that way you know it could kind of stand out from the background and lastly, I did add in like a white layering on the background of the chat logo. That way it kind of stands out from the background as well. But in a nutshell, it wasn't too difficult to do this. Of course, this is completely optional. You do not need to do this. I only did this because my color is green. So I wanted a green aspect with the chat message logo. Also, I felt like this color scheme was good for my stream deck to kind of coincide with everything else there. So at the end, I'm kind of happy with what the result ended up being. If you guys want a more in-depth guide on how I did this in Photoshop, I could definitely do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that. I don't know how many people utilize Photoshop and this is more to show like how I do it. But of course, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to follow up on this and make a step-by-step tutorial on how to do this. Now, in terms of where things should be located on your stream deck, that's really up to you. I would not recommend having like all the reds next to each other and all the greens next to each other. Kind of mix it up. That way it kind of has like a nice flow to it. In my case, I kind of have a lot of reds next to each other, but that's just because it's simple and it makes sense for me. So even though I shouldn't do that and I'm kind of not listening to my own advice, it still works out for me. And I think at the end of the day, it looked kind of good. So these are just some fun, cool ways to customize your icons on your stream deck. I'm quite satisfied with the look of it. And ever since I moved over to YouTube, that's when I made the switch in the look of my stream deck and I could not be any more happier. Of course, if you guys have any questions and you wanna ask me, I stream every Wednesday on YouTube. So you can head on over, ask me any question you'd like, or you just hang out and chill with your boy. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content like this. But anyways, guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching. But as always, peace out.